Okay, here's another change in Frank Forum. I'm not finding it anywhere else, so I'm creating it. This is on the GOP, United States GOP, um, you know, debate. Who among the GOP would you vote for as a candidate? And then I listed in their order of supposed leadership in the polls. The, what are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The 15 candidates who are still left. Okay, two of them have dropped out, and I got that list from right here. Fox News, which held the second debate tonight. Okay, these are the guys who are who are debating. Two of them, Rick Perry and Scott Walker, dropped out. I'm really glad Rick Perry dropped out. He should not be president. Um, and then here are the leaders, okay? And I created a poll. You do not have to join Frank Forum to, to vote. Who would you vote for? you got to pick at least two. Because the idea is you're picking a president and a vice president. You don't have to specify which is which. Just pick two. And you will be able to post. This is a forum all by itself called the U.S. Presidential Race 2015-2016. Okay, it's in the same orange to mark it as a special forum where you don't have to join to vote. You can vote and you can post. If you are not a member of the forum, you will not be able to edit so if you want to be able to edit your choice and change it later, or edit your posts and change them later, then you're going to need to join. But you can join with a fake name and email. You are not tracked. I need to protect my anonymity. Therefore, I'm protecting yours. I'm the only one who can find out anything. And I don't look, because I don't want to know. I identify people by the content of what comes out of their mouth, not by their name, their address, or their other social superficialities. The real you is what's coming out of your mouth. Okay? So everything else is irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. And I want your privacy protected, just as I have to protect my own. So you can join, but if you don't even want to do that, then you can still post and you can vote anonymously. But you won't be able to change it unless you join. Okay? The same thing with posting. Now, like right now, I'm signed in, I think. No, I'm not signed in. Okay, so right now I can vote. I haven't voted yet because I don't know who I'm going to vote for. Okay? It's not going to be Hillary. For sure it's not. All right? So if I want to have a reply to this vote, I can click on it. Post to reply, and the only issue that's going to be here is I have to answer that trick question of one banana, two grapefruit, one tomato, three zucchini, how many fruit? Tomato is not a vegetable. That's your only clue. And then you have to type as a word, see, answer one word, type as a word, how many fruit? Then if I answer that question properly, then I got whatever I post here will go through. And then I can make up whatever username I want to make up so I'll remember what I, it was me that was doing the post. But nobody else is going to know who I am but me. There's no way to trace this. Okay? No way. Okay? So, that you can do if you want. Or, you can create a new topic without joining, too. Same issue. You've got to answer the trick question here. Make up a username for yourself. Type in a subject. Type in your post. You can't edit it, so the smart thing would be to compose whatever you want to say offline first. Because that's the only way there's going to be a copy of it. And then if you don't like what you post and you need to amend it, you can always reply to your own, cop your own topic saying, Hi, I can't amend what I first wrote. Here's what I want to fix. Okay? So compose what you want to say offline first, and then paste it in here. And you got all the little options except for the smileys. You can't use the smileys. You have to join to be able to use the smileys. I got to, I got to, you know, it's got to be some advantage to being a member, okay? And actually, it has to do more with the way the memory works on the machine. 
So I have to save someplace. Okay, and the rest of this, you know, you can look at active topics still, and that's when it reverts to, when you see this blue thing, if you're not a member and you're not logged in, if you see this blue thing, it means as a guest you can't post. Okay, you can post now, therefore, in admin stuff, because it changes to orange. Come on. You can also post in the voting on Windows 10. This is a separate form all by itself. And that's why it changes to orange. And now you can vote on down here and other stuff. Underneath politics, you got the US presidential race. And that you can also vote. Notice it turns orange, meaning that you don't have to join to post. And you can vote. So who would you vote for? And of course, you can post to say why. And I'd really like to know because I'm undecided. The only one I'm sure I probably don't want is this guy. I don't want him. Okay. Everybody else is kind of up for grabs. All right, that's it. Who are you voting for? Here you go. Guests and members can vote. Peace out.